Let's talk about dog diseases that are caused by ticks. Now there are multiple different types of ticks that are out there and so it's not always um, easy to tell which ones can or cannot transmit um, diseases. And so the best thing to do is be vigilant uh, for your dog and that is using topical products that kill ticks. Um, using them monthly, especially during the summer months when ticks are most active, um, and just being very vigilant again, combing, brushing your dog to find out if there are any ticks there. Ticks uh, typically have to be attached for 12 to 24 hours to transmit a tick-borne disease. These tick-borne diseases we're talking about are things like Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Ehrlichia, Babesia, and Lyme disease. And so depending on what area of the country, some of these diseases may be more um, seen than other ones. Um, these diseases very commonly are organisms that are transmitted into the bloodstream. And what happens in a lot of these, for a lot of these animals is they be, can, can become immunosuppressed, um, have high fevers typically, joint pain, um, just not doing well, overall lethargy. Some of these diseases can cause a, a wide range of uh, sometimes bizarre symptoms that don't always make sense. Some dogs can have lots of ticks and have no disease. Some dogs can have one tick and a lot of disease. And so it's just not always correlative on um, what can be caused by what. So the, again, the best thing to do is if you think your dog has a tick-borne disease, see your veterinary clinic so they can help you. And also just be vigilant and use a topical type of uh, anti-tick medication.